In this tutorial, we will learn about advanced graphic uh, systems in R, the advanced tools and techniques that are available to us now. Okay, so we'll work on the uh, trellis package, that is the lattice package. Now, trellis plots are designed to be easy to interpret and at the same time provide some modern, sophisticated plotting styles such as multi channel conditioning. Okay, so this is an image uh, built by the lattice package. We use the xy plot function, and uh, so let's have let's do it uh, on our right. So first of all, we'll import the library lattice. Okay, so we import the library. Now we can use all the functions which are provided by the lattice library. Okay, so now let us. Uh, uh, we'll save the uh, xy plot. We'll use the xy plot function and we'll save it in uh, in the variable t plot. Uh, xy plot. Uh, we'll plot latitude versus longitude. Uh, we'll mention what data are you uh, taking it from. And we need uh, the marker. That is, let's have it a zero. So okay, so the entire thing has been saved in the variable t plot. Let us print the uh, t plot. There we go. So here it is. This is uh, the data was uh, the earthquake in the Pacific Ocean. Uh, we can see what data it was that we have uh, plotted. Right. Yeah, so this is this is the entire data, latitude, longitude, depth, magnitude, stations. Okay. Let us plot uh, let us plot depth versus magnitude. So here T plot, X Y plot depth versus magnitude. Okay. There we go. Now let us print the plot. So here is a curve of the depth versus the magnitude. Let us change the marker. Okay, so as we can see, um, as uh, at increased magnitudes, we have very uh, the depth has uh, the disparity between the markers has uh, decreased, and we have a very high density from 4.0 to 5.0. Uh, the same way, at, at the depth of 400, we have uh, less number of uh, markers, but at 600, uh, around 600 and around 200, we have a very good number of. Uh, respective earthquakes. So this is a visual representation. Uh, now let us learn some uh, other techniques in plotting uh, for let's say for plotting 3D curves. Okay, these are the other functions which are available in the lattice uh, on the library. We have the bar chart, we have DW, we have box plots, we have condition uh, kernel density plots, we have dot plots, we have histograms, we have level plots, contour plots, Three-dimensional scatter plots, three-dimensional surfaces, scatter plot matrices, and parallel coordinate plots. So, we'll use the cloud uh, lattice function to, uh, in on the same data, to have a 3D plot of the data. Let us see how. Okay. T plot one. That's the function we'll be using this time. Giving a curve of depth versus latitude long longitude. So 
So let us print now t plot one. Here we are. So here we have the depth on the decreasing axis and latitude and longitude. So this is uh, about using the cloud function for having 3D plots.